February, of course, Black History Month, and it's estimated that African Americans own less than 1% of the craft breweries in the U.S. Today, CBS 2's Lisa Rosner introduces us to a woman in Harlem who is mixing things up in the beer industry. From grain to glass, Celeste Beatty is making hops and history in Harlem while honoring her roots. Nearly 20 years ago, she started the Harlem Brewing Company. Because of the history here, because of, of, of this being the epicenter of African diasporic, African American culture, music. Walk into her studio, which she calls her Brudio, off historic Convent Avenue. You'll see an original dress from the late Ella Fitzgerald. The company's tap handle is a nod to Fitzgerald and other African American jazz greats like Duke Ellington of Harlem. I just love this uh, beverage. I. Had a chance to go to Africa to learn how original beers were made. The North Carolina native followed the footsteps of family that moved to Harlem in the 50s and 60s. She originally wanted to mediate overseas political conflicts, but found she could bring people together at a different kind of table, eventually teaching beer making classes out of her home. Not only did she start brewing in Harlem, but each beer is a toast to the spirit and flavors of Harlem. Our flagship brand, Harlem Sugar Hill Golden Ale, our Harlem uh, Renaissance Wit. It's the 100th anniversary of the Renaissance, uh, 1920, 2020. We also have our uh, Harlem 125th Street IPA, which is a celebration of one of the most iconic streets in the world. And she wants other black brewers, especially women, to join her in raising the bar. I was recently at a beer festival. There were probably 25 uh, black breweries there. Of those, uh, there were probably four or five uh, women. So what are some of the challenges that you've faced? I have to tell people two, three times who I am, what I do. A lot of times I don't mention that I'm the owner or brewer. I am constantly at this point looking for the nose. I love for people to turn me down. <laughs> because it only motivates her more. She just opened a brewery with another black brewer, Brianna Brake, in North Carolina, mixing things up in the billion dollar beer industry. And this is only the beginning. In Harlem, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. Well, Beatty says that she's still looking for a space outside of her home to brew and sell the beer. It's currently bottled upstate and sold in partner restaurants and select stores. We'll be celebrating Black History Month all month long. Look for our reports each evening right here on CBS 2 News at 5. We will have a special section on our website for Black History Month at CBSNewYork.com.